scleroderma and polycythemia vera. Castor oil packs are used frequently in our treatment of individuals afflicted with this serious condition. The packs are helpful in a variety of ways, one of them being that they soften the skin locally, where they are applied. From the many readings case gave for people with this condition, I found that more than once he offered the suggestion that the skin should be washed with bicarbonate of soda prior to applying the flannel packs saturated with castor oil. Since the soda does an excellent job of cleansing the skin, after the packs are removed, it is one of the few substances that will cut the oil itself, I figured that its use may have some relationship to the removal of toxins from the skin before the packs, thus the toxins would not be carried into the body by the heat and the oil. Last summer, one of our scleroderma patients used the packs on his abdomen, while he stayed at our outpatient residence, and he forgot to take one of them with him, when he left. Marguerite Hodgen, director of the O.P.R thought she would just wash it out and send it to him. When she opened it up, there were black marks scattered across the entire pack, and these marks did not disappear when the pack was washed. Another patient of ours found her packs turning black after just a few treatments. This patient had polycythemia. Vera, a condition in which there is a serious overproduction of red blood cells. She needed to have blood removed from her system regularly. The full therapy case suggested was not implemented, but with just the use of the packs and infrared lamp treatments, her trips to the hospital to have blood removed became less frequent. It would be interesting to discover if the heat and the castor oil actually drive materials from the skin into the deeper regions of the body. Indeed the patient, experiencing the unusual events often related to disease, remains our Richest source of information about what is going on in this wonderful creation called the human body. Left square bracket note, the preceding report was provided by William McGarry, M. D. and is excerpted from the A.R.E. Journal. July, 1979, Volume 14, No. 5, Page 208, Copyright Copyright 1979 by the Edgar Case Foundation, Virginia Beach, Virginia, right square bracket. HTTP slash slash worldwide web point enter case point org slash health slash database slash static slash data slash casserup one point HTML fifty two of sixty nine ten hours twenty three minutes and forty four seconds PM point Edgar case health database anecdotal case reports remedies products